Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Lou, and this is Metal Lens Reviews. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, check it out. You like what you see? Thank you. Please do me that favor of like, comment, subscribe. As I mentioned before, it really helps me grow the channel, spread it to the masses, and of course motivates me to provide you guys with more content. Alright, so this is a kind of a first reaction with the story. Uh, yes and no. Alright, so the band I'm checking out today, reacting to, uh, is Opeth, and the song is called Bleak. I picked this song because, well, uh, every one of their songs are like 13 or 15 minutes long, and this would be an enormously long video. Obviously, I've done long videos before, but I just, I have a lot to, you know, process. Like, if this was like a second video I did from them, then yeah, but I want to kind of ease into this, so... Uh, that was one of the reasons behind this song, and it, it showed up in, you know, the list of, you know, top Opeth songs. You know, usually when I come across new artists, I literally, it's random. It's usually out of a top, um, you know, a reputable source. You know, I'll do, you know, top said band, you know, songs. And uh, in this case, there's a couple of them, and uh, Bleak, you know, kind of stood out. And I was like, all right, let me check it out. And here we are. So, um, funny story, there was a tour years ago, and I think Lamb of God headlined it, and uh, Opeth was on the bill, a lot of people came out to see them too, um, I don't know what the hell I was doing, I don't think I was drunk, I was just, maybe just, my mind was elsewhere, and, because I was there, present, during their set, it just didn't stick, you know, I was way more into aggressive music, uh, not as open and, and diverse in musical genres as I am today. So, like, I can appreciate multitudes of different music. Um, now, Opeth, obviously, they're not strangers to rock. In fact, if I had to pick a category, I had the category kind of pick me because I looked it up. Um, progressive, metal, death metal, jazzy compositions, they're all over the place. And uh, this is why it's going to be kind of exciting. Because I like these bands that kind of step outside the box. Uh, obviously, they have a very successful career. They just released something new, and I was gonna do, do that, but I was like, let me let me take it back. I'm a newbie. I have no idea. I know they're uh, they're Swedish. That's about it. Um, but you had to say like you know I've listened to a full song despite being at a show. I just don't recall. You know the vibe or the feel of it. It was, it was some time ago, but here we are. We're gonna check them out. So um, it's gonna be exciting because I have no idea what they're gonna sound like and how this song's gonna affect me. So I'm all about it. All right, guys. Once again, this is Opeth with Bleak. should have mentioned um they had a live video but i just wanted to kind of hear it through you know live videos while awesome uh you know there's a lot going on very you know the atmosphere is a little, from the crowd the, the band the feedback i want to kind of hear a studio version of it just so i could you know listen to it clean and uh, analyze it better uh, that's why i choose just the audio so you know there's that all right let's keep going
so um first impression really not that bad um once again i had this envision in my head despite you know seeing them live um like i said i just wasn't paying attention uh so the vocals are you know i, I don't know what made me think he was going to do like operatic vocals or clean maybe there is you know i mean the band has an enormous catalog you know so a multitude of fans so you know you guys who know better than i i'm just going off this song and it's a popular song uh but yeah federal death metalish you know but not the music though the music I, now that i totally get I, it's definitely progressive definitely change there's a morphing style to this music it's not one shot you know what you see is what you get uh actually very reminiscent to kind of how megadeth does this i'm not saying it sounds like megadeth but you know always people criticize megadeth for being jazz metal or the fuck that means uh they're just very technical you know and i i, I can kind of hear that you know we're still early on in the song you know but um i see the direction they're going with that i see why people might be drawn to that so yeah i definitely get why people probably avoided the hell out of them you know number one the songs are probably endless you know, metalheads, some of them anyway, have very short attention spans. Myself, is it, you know, unless it's like a Metallica song or like, you know, The Hell Awaits from Slayer, you know, we got like a five minute window there to wrap our heads around a song. But uh, I mean, hey, listen, I'll listen to Pink Floyd through it, you know, like, you know, I, especially now, I appreciate more creative styles uh, within the metal scene, you know, uh, and they can be long as shit. I don't care. You know, it's entertaining. And this definitely, yeah. Uh, I love the gloom. I love the darkness. But I also like the creative. There's a lot of layers here, you know. And the vocals, you know, they. I mean, you can hear them. They stand out. You know, the guy's telling the story, obviously. Um, but I feel like they're kind of in the background. And the music is like the paintbrush on this tapestry, you know. And, you know... The vocals are just kind of, you know, the bass, you know, the layer, you know, all this craziness is going on. We're still early on. It could change at any minute, but so far I like it. Not bad. Sound like we're breaking into a new song there. I just got like, added on. I like that. There's a lot of breaks, a lot of different. Um, yeah, I definitely get the progressive side, that progish kind of feel, the start and stop, and changing the tempos up. You know, uh, the vocals definitely keep it dark though. I feel like though, you know, um, and once again, we're still so early on in the song, and this is just a base in itself of one song. If they were less harsh, maybe. You know, it would definitely flow better. Because this is a beautiful composition here. There's a lot going on. It is. It's like background music, you know. Like for like a horror movie. Or some crazy fantasy. Uh, but I appreciate it. I like it. And, um... Yeah, it's very atmospheric. It's room filling, you know what I mean? Um, it's not just, you know, your regular basic band. You know, uh, bass, guitar, drums, vocals. There's a lot going on. 
you know, uh, I'm, I'm sure they have keyboards too, you know, adding night and more fine layers to this, uh, you know, the epicness of Opeth, you know, cool name, by the way. Um, but yeah, I mean, so far, I mean, some, I'm not, you know, I'm not gonna be buying their t-shirt tomorrow, but, um, yeah, I mean, I feel like I should listen to them sooner. Uh, I don't know what made me, but see, you know, you're impressionable as a kid, you know, and, uh, my mind was elsewhere at the time when they, I guess, were picking up speed. I don't know. Um, I don't know. They just put it in my bag for whatever reason. I never uh, checked them out or gave them the time. But uh, I'm glad I did. This is, uh, you know, it's not bad. It's, it's technical. It's, it's cool. Um, and different, you know. At the, 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 I see why people would be drawn to this. But at the same time, I see why people would probably avoid them. So... All right, let's keep going. I gotta talk about that. Um, I think I just answered my own question. I was like, man, they would sound great even better with some kind of clean vocals, and sure enough. Okay, so I'm starting to see why, you know, Opeth has stuck around, still influential, still probably has an incredible fan base, and, you know, as of recently, putting out new music. Uh, wow. And I'm sure seeing them live, I mean, like I said, I was there, but I wasn't you know, tuned in, um, but I, I did not, in fact, the guy next to me was very adamant that Opeth was coming on, so it just goes to show you, you know, uh, like I said, and they weren't even head headlining, so you know they made a big, huge impression, and, uh, that's definitely important, and I see it now, I totally get it, it just, it's like a, a fantasy movie, just kind of like a Lord of the Rings slash horror film. And this is in the background, you know what I mean? It just it fills a room. It's like, it's dark. It has a very haunting kind of vibe. But beautiful, too, at the same time. It's just, it has, has all these different layers. And uh, they really stand out. So, I like it, you know? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's crazy. Was not expecting all this, you know? Maybe a few exotic things here and there. Um... But no, I'm starting to see why Opeth is Opeth. And, uh, you know, people have been into them for God knows how long. So, you know, I get it. All right, let's keep going. <laughs>
I mean, it's like an orchestrated piece, like uh, you know, like if uh, Beethoven or Bach, you know, were reborn today and you know picked it, you know metal, you know, didn't did they kind of give birth to metal if you think about it? Um, no, but uh, what I mean by that, the orchestrative part, it's very there's there's sectionals here, um, you know, the, the, that opening lures people in it's a little more heavier but technical this part it's it's beautiful um it's not linear but it's um yeah it's just it's different um and it's just all swirling around you know i mean it's, you could the genres that they were labeled i like i said they check all the boxes with that They're definitely progressive definitely metal um that that progness i feel you know um yeah, yeah, they just, you know, yeah, you know, they fit in that category. But at the same time, you know, not too many bands that I know of were doing this, you know. So, you know, early 2000s, I guess, you know, uh, I think that's why. Because, you know, I, I was in the era of new metal, you know, Drowning Pool, Disturbed, Corn, uh, Slipknot, you know. You know, then, you know, Lamb of God, As I Lay Dying, so on and so forth. Um, but uh, them, you know, I, you know, they, they really don't fit, you know, because their, their music, it's, it's big, it's, you know, it's complex. So it's, they definitely kind of fall into that, you know, there was this big movement of like Swedish metalers, like Soil Work and In Flames. Uh, they get, you know, guys from Finland, the Children of Bodom, you know. Uh, but they kind of have their own thing going on, and I think that stood out, and that probably hooked a lot of people looking for something different, because now that I'm getting older, and my, you know, taste is more extravagant, I'm definitely into Stranger and, you know, different types of stuff. Still metal, but, um, there's a big wheel of categories, um, subgenres that, you know, I've taken interest to, you know, a lot of it being, you know, no surprise, you know, electronic, industrial stuff, but, uh, you know, I've been doing a lot of farm music that I can relate to, it just, you know, gels with me for some reason, um, but this, like I said, this has its own feel, its own category, I can't really compare it that much, uh, you know, I'm not sure who influenced who, or how they came to be, I kind of rely that, uh, on you guys, you know, you kind of give me the information about Opeth and their, I guess their upbringings and what they're about, you know, because, uh, yeah, I totally get it, you know, and it's not that I was being ignorant, I didn't dislike them, I just never give them, you know, the time of day, I just, like I said, you know, when you have a band that you know, your, your, you know, your friend knows, or they're, they're popular, they're big, and they got their own fan base, yada, 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 um, but you just, they don't gel, they don't, you know, you're not vibing with them, so you kind of move on, you got, you got your own, you know, compact group of mu uh, music that you listen to, uh, but this is cool, this is, you know, a great way, I guess, to introduce someone to heavier music, because, yeah, it's heavy, but there's, like, something for everyone, and this one track, it went through so many different transitions and styles, you know, like I mentioned before, how Megadeth kind of has a very jazzy way of constructing their thrash metal. These guys do it you know, with a mix of progressive prog. A little bit of death metal thrown in. Um, a lot of directions, but they keep it tolerable and palatable. You know what I mean? It's not a ball of noise. You know, it's art in a way. You know, and I like that. Uh, yeah. Let's keep going. <laughs>
nice. Kind of sounded like a little funky bass at the end. Distorted bass. Uh, well, that was an experience, huh? Nine minute song. Uh, yeah, yeah. I guess to sum it all up, that was a, an experience, a ride, if you will, you know. Um, had a little bit of uh, something for everybody, you know. Like I said, all these genres, uh, these mixes, different forms of rock, just all kind of compiled. You know, they're like the, the Frank Zappa of uh, the metal world. Um, might be exaggerating there. Uh, anyway, yeah, that was a good introduction. Um, my first time actually kind of diving and analyzing into Opeth. Uh, I totally see why they're, they're as popular as they are and why their fan base is you know very passionate about them. Uh, just for this song, I don't need any other explanations. I get it. Uh, but definitely, guys, give me some more information. I'm, I'm interested. How would, you know, do they still sound like this? You know, I'm going to kind of work up before I do any newer songs, just so, you know, I'm not jaded by what sounds better, you know. Um, yeah, this was fun. You know, it was, like I said, orchestrated and very well done. The band is super talented. All these different techniques they were using, uh, the lyrics, um, the, yeah, you know, it was a big atmosphere kind of song. I had a lot going on, but very, very well done. Uh, you know, the vocals, like I said, that, you know, guttural death metal style to very clean singing, you know, they're able to, you know, blend those two together, uh, would start heavy, stop kind of melodic, would pick back up again, had different breaks, um, very complex song, but impressive. Uh, and there you have it, guys. That's Opeth with Bleak, and that's my two cents. Um, if you made this far into the video, thank you. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, so, like I said, I could pick a random song, go through the comments, or if someone out there wants to kind of jump ahead of the line, I'll leave a link down below, buy me a coffee. And it's just another way of supporting the channel. And requesting a song, and I normally get to those ASAP. Uh, so yeah, there you have it, guys. Thanks again for listening, and I will see you all very, very soon. Peace.